<laughs> I chose this card obviously with the reference cooling system for a reason. There is a deep and sacred meaning in this act. All the stars converge around this incredibly powerful AMD turbine. It easily accelerates to 5000 rounds per minute. It's rumble capable of driving any living organism crazy within a radius of half a kilometer. Someone thinks that these GPUs sucks while never holding them in their hands. A lot of people don't like it, but some people do, and they are in minority. In our school they are getting found and beaten, and that's sad. I don't belong to any of these groups. I just want to see by my own eyes what the top AMD GPU from 2013 with a reference cooling system is capable of in more or less modern games. The video card is very demanding. It consumes 250 watts and it requires two power cables, 8 and 6 pin. In order not to bother, we will not connect two stupid power supplies as in one of the previous videos. Especially for the needs of this GPU, I bought a kilowatt power supply, which some miners successfully sold to me. The braid of this wire reminds me of black Alabama snakes. Thanks to the variety of different cables, it's very easy to connect whatever you want to it. Now I will demonstrate what this turbine is capable of at maximum speed, quickly connecting it to the stand, turning all the measuring and tuning programs, I tuned on the manual speed control and set the rotation speed to 100%, 5000 rounds per minute. Even my neighbor stopped drinking because of this home. And this is despite of the fact that their barn is 50 meters from the GPU. I hope now they will not dump prices with their cheap moonshine. I hope they will leave the local market for dubious products and sell their alcohol machine for scrap. Minus another competitor. Oh yeah, in the meantime I'm already disassembling the GPU. All this process, one thought followed me. How not to break it, and uh, such an idea arose immediately after removing the plate that presses the cooling system on the graphics chip. And uh, all because I thought that these pads are some kind of support that is needed so that the crystal doesn't break, sort of like castles. Having overcome fear, I nevertheless decided to fully disassemble the card. And the new problem in this was the boiler thermal pads. But my crazy little hands managed to cope with such a barrier. In front of me a new wonderful world of AMD text light has opened up. I immediately rushed to discover it. And there I found this crystal. It's built on the 28 nanometer process technology. But the most important thing is the architecture of the GPU, Hawaii. And if so, then now we have a Hawaiian graphical card in our hands. And in the center is nothing more than the mouth of the volcano Mauna Loa, the largest active volcano on the planet. And on the left is the local Pearl Harbor for 7 phases. Having removed the dirty plastic protective case of this graphics card, which was held on by 6 screws, we have an overview of a truly ingenious cooling system. The first thought that crossed my mind when I saw this fertile Ukrainian mod was how not to catch AIDS. The radiator is very dusty, but not critical. To continue the disassembly we need to remove the fan, which is held on by three screws. The turbine is also a little dusty, just look how ugly the blades are. This is not how it needs to be. Due to the fact that the fan is small, such an amount of dust can adversely affect the efficiency. We will remove the dust and sharpen the blades a little, getting a couple of horsepowers. I flushed the radiator under a faucet. Let's put the graphics card back together and see if it makes more sense than my videos do. Putting the fan back on the place where it's needed to be. The blood. Put a kilogram of Chinese thermal paste. As bad as it's possible, we put the textolite on the cooling system trying to damage as many parts as it's possible. And if you're an excellent player, then a royal flush at this stage of the GPU assembly is a crystal chip. 
almost done. Let's put the card in the stand and start testing it. And here we can see that all the things I done has no more sense than there is in my channel. For such GPUs 94 degrees is a classic. It's almost impossible to lower it without any sacrifices, and in our case we will sacrifice the noise level, although this is more of a consequence, and the real victim in this case will be our comfort. At 60% fan speed the car doesn't lower the frequency due to overheating, so it's fine, it will compete with RX 580 on 4GB. Doom Eternal Maximum settings with an emphasis on graphics memory you can play on both cards without any problems. Monitoring in this game for some reason doesn't work, so look at the frame counter. The difference is about 20 frames per second in favor of the RX 580. By the way, just look at this beautiful, cute scenery. Resident Evil 2, here you can see the graphics settings, on DirectX 11 you can play on both GPUs. But on the card which you can see on the left side, the gameplay is not that stable as it is on the RX 580. R9 has frame drops and RX 580 shows 10 to 12 frames more. Control, probably minimum settings of graphics, I don't know exactly because I cannot open settings on this repack. You can play on both GPUs, I didn't notice any difference at all. Battlefield 5, maximum settings and one of the most graphical demanding maps in this game. Um, as you can see RX 580 shows 20 FPS more, but you can play on both GPUs without any problems. Sekiro, I didn't see any difference in the performance of the both GPUs. Gameplay is stable. Gameplay. The Auto Worlds and as in the previous game I don't see any difference in the performance. And by the way, maximum settings. Frankly speaking, I don't remember what graphic settings I set at that day, but everything, everything unnecessary that can interfere with the game process is removed. I sort of reinstalled the drivers, I didn't do anything to the settings and still the same result. And yet, with a strong desire, this game can be played in such pretty way. Today we learned that the veteran of mining R9-290X is still mighty card despite of its age. The card is very effective in fight against alcoholism, able to warm the soul and body of its owner, and most importantly it's quite suitable for full HD gaming at low settings, sometimes even at high settings, but I strongly advise against buying such a card, especially with the reference cooling system. Thank you for watching, hope this video was interesting for you, if so press like button, subscribe on my channel that is very important and write comments what do you think about R9 290X. Adios amigos, ha ha ha.